Hello, this is Vivek. Welcome to another video in Codeigniter Forms video series. Here in this video, I am going to work on adding form validations from our Codeigniter application in our form controller. For that, we need to load form validation library. Here I am going to add form validation library. And these values instead of echoing, can I send them to variables and you can pass this to model method while inserting while inserting these values into database for that operation you can send these values let's see what we can do about it in next videos for now I am going to work on form validations I am loading form validation library this load library form validation form validation okay i am going to add a new rule this form validation set rules set rules and i am going to add rule for email input field email email and uh, it's a input field name of that uh, name that i am going to display for this error message and the rules I am going to add a trim and required and we can add as many rules as we want using a pipe symbol. Next we need to check these uh, validation rules for that I am going to open a if block this form validation after executing this form validation rules if it returns false then there are errors I am not going to do nothing here because uh, if there are errors, we will load this uh, same views again and uh, this validation errors will be displayed on this views. Nothing to do. Else, we will do the operations that is inserting these uh, values into database or uh, sending email or whatever you want to do. You can do the operations here based on your requirement and uh, create a success message and we'll see how to create that success message in a next video creating a success message and displaying those messages here i am going to work on adding this validation rules and displaying this error message if i submit the form with the empty input field nothing is happening i'm not seeing anything because we should add validation errors because we should display this validation errors in our view page. For that, I am going to add validation errors function, coordinates function inside our panel body. Here I am opening a PHP block, echo validation errors. And here we can add opening and closing tags. I am adding a div class with a alert danger styles. Div class alert and alert danger closing the div tag here div block okay let's just submit the form once again i should see this validation errors email field is required this is a name i set while uh, setting the rules while creating the rules with a form validation library and next i am going to add a form validation rules for first name last name gender and uh, age Let's go to form controller and here I am going to copy this statements statement for setting rules. First name, last name, email, gender, age, gender it's always selected. Let's try that also. F name and the input name is first name. L name, last name, gender, gender, age, age. Okay, and here for this email, I am going to add another rule that is valid email. 
I am going to check this submitted email is a valid email or not and uh, I am going to remove this HTML5 validations. Type text, I am making it as type text so any value will be accepted. Let's submit the form. First name is required, last name is required, email is required, age is required. I haven't selected this uh, gender, still it's selected a male. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove checked attribute for this radio button. I'll reload the page. This radio button should be unselected, unchecked, submit. I'm seeing this gender field also. Gender field is required. If I submit a text instead of email in this email input field, the email field must contain a valid email address. That's in the format of test at gmail.com. Okay. Now this value is successfully passed and we are not seeing this error. If I send first name, last name, we shouldn't see these two error messages. I'm not seeing these two error messages and other messages. Let's select age and gender. These two errors are missing. It's working correctly. Let's submit the full form once again. First name, first name, last name, test at gmail.com for email and gender, age, submit. All the values are submitted and I'm not seeing any error message. Next, I'm going to work on displaying success message in case of no errors or after executing some operations. And after that, I am going to work on displaying this data. In case of errors, I am not getting this data back and we have to fill this form again and again. Instead of that, I want to send the data in our input form fields so that user can update the values and submit the form again and again without filling these forms. I am going to work on that features in next video. Thank you for watching and do subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please post it in comment section.